What is going on, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for tuning in. So I got some news for you guys. Lamar Jackson, you know, MVP, outstanding quarterback. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people doubted this guy that he would be able to cut it in the NFL. People were saying stuff when he declared for the draft. Oh, he needs to convert to a wide receiver, etc. Honestly, me. I'm happy with my team is the Buffalo Bills, and I'm happy that we drafted Josh Allen. But before the draft, I wanted Lamar Jackson. But, you know, anyways, he had an outstanding uh, season last year, took the Ravens deep in the playoffs. You know, it, it was dope, man. Tapping in the comments, everyone, let me know who your uh, favorite football team is, what you guys think of Lamar Jackson and everything like that. But check it out. Out of nowhere today, Lamar Jackson gets uh, a shout out from president donald trump it just kind of came out of nowhere now what was going on is um there was a tweet that went up that you can see it says it was from the check down and it said jair alexander's reaction to his college teammate lamar jackson or, or lamar getting drafted was priceless and then you know they were both tagged in it and you know it just showed that he was happy for his for his teammate for his his bro Lamar Jackson you know what I'm saying and um Lamar shared that tweet and uh you know shouted him out put the 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 cross fingers like in solidarity and said Brody and tagged Jair Alexander well then next thing you know Donald Trump uh you know quoted the tweet and he said really nice to see this and what a great pick so it just kind of came out of nowhere you know what I mean well, then next thing you know, Lamar Jackson quoted and shared Trump's tweet and said, trust Trump. And people were reacting in a lot of different ways. You know what I mean? As we know, Donald Trump is popular and hated at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And um, Kenny Stills, uh, one of, you know, Lamar. Uh, another NFL player he put question marks there's some other players in here in the replies in the tweets you'll see that are like mixed reaction you know um, people were confused by it some people are saying stuff like you see this one tweet that says this ain't it chief chief someone else is like welcome aboard um, someone said uh, didn't know that I could dislike Lamar more than I did but here we are so you see, you know, he's getting this there. Um, someone else is like smart guy, loves America. Um, you know, it's 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 a mixed reaction because, as you know, as we know, like I was saying, people either seem to love or hate Trump. Now, as I always put it on this channel, I don't do the politics. You know, I feel how I feel about different issues. I, I'm not one of those people where I um, and no disrespect to anyone who is, but I'm not like, yo, I'm on the left or I'm on the right. And, you know, like I said, it's a guaranteed argument to me. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm just curious to know what you guys think this will uh, do for Lamar Jackson's popularity uh, all in all. Do you think it'll hurt him? Do you think it'll help him? You know what I mean? It was just kind of crazy out of nowhere. Trump shouts out Lamar Jackson and then Lamar Jackson, you know, salutes him back. Like, I didn't see this coming. You know what I mean? It, like, I don't know. It just kind of uh, took me by surprise. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know Donald Trump. Um, I don't know that he's a fan of football, but he actually did own a pro football team. If you if you uh, recall the USFL, I believe was what it was called. You know, it's a defunct uh, football uh, league. Like as we just saw the XFL, Vince McMahon's pro football league that he was kind of trying to compete with the NFL which now went under for the second time with everything going on he could not keep things going you know what I mean but um the USFL actually had some success a lot of great players played there Steve Young I think Joe Montana might have played there my uh one of my all-time favorites Jim Kelly played over there Doug Flutie Warren Moon I mean the list goes on and on like it was a for real um you know competitor to the nfl in the end it went under and it didn't like last real long but a lot of people really liked it like it, it really had um a shot but you know it is what it is but anyways trump owned the new jersey generals who were around from 83 to 85 or um that's when he owned the team i don't know if can't recall if that's the only years it was around but 
You know what I'm saying? Trump has an interest in football. I don't know that he's a fan, but he owned the team. Now, as you guys might have heard me in the beginning of the video, I'm a diehard Buffalo Bills fan, right? And um, the Bills, you know, a few years back, our owner passed away, Ralph Wilson. We were really worried that someone was going to buy the team and move the team out of Buffalo. Um, in the end, the guy who owns our hockey team, the Buffalo Sabres, Terry Pagula, ended up buying the Bills for like $1.4 billion. It was wild, man. A um, couple other people were trying to put bids in on the team, you know, uh, were, you know, competing with them to try to buy the Bills. And Trump had interest in trying to buy the Bills. Um, besides Trump, um, was it John Bon Jovi, I think? And he was working with some ownership group out of Toronto that, you know, wanted to take the team to Canada. It was crazy, man. But, um, you know, all in all, we were happy us Bills fan because Terry Pagula kept the team in Buffalo we love our Bills you know what I mean and I'm sure a lot of other football fans you guys feel me like you know football season is the happiest time of the year to me you know what I mean and um you know to lose your team is like heartbreaking you know what I'm saying we've seen that with the, like when the Browns uh you know originally moved as you know there's a Browns franchise now but when they moved to Baltimore like people were tight about it man you know what I'm saying um Art Modell was hated in Cleveland. I don't know that he ever really wanted to set foot in Cleveland again. He might have thought it wouldn't have been safe for him, you know. But uh, I just thought that was interesting to share with you guys that, you know, Trump was trying to buy the bills also. But um, I don't know, like uh, for anyone who's new to the channel, tap in, in the comments, guys. That's what this platform is all about hearing what the people got to say so let's discuss this in the comments as i said i'm just curious to know everyone's reaction to this you know what i'm saying uh you know this interaction between donald trump and lamar jackson and um i also want to know uh what you think this will do for him um you know his image and his popularity overall do you think it'll help him hurt him do you think it won't really matter you know just want to know what you guys think about this so let's get this discussion going in the comments make sure to subscribe to the channel guys hit the bell help this channel grow i got daily content i cover music news sports all kinds of different stuff guys so uh i'll, I'll holler at you guys in the comments catch you on the next video thanks for watching you guys i'm out of here peace